Fast Knack Quilts. Today I'm going to show you how I store my fabric and how I catalogue my fabric after I've cut it up from men's dress shirts. There's so much to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my catalogue system here and then how I've then store that and transfer it into the totes. The driving force for this was I didn't know quite how to store it and I decided that I would make up a index of my things so I knew where they were and what I've done is I've split it there's one particular um, designer which I'll show you that I love his shirts and I love his colorways and that's Jeff Banks and he is all in one particular tote then I, I've split it into blues purples greens gray blacks and browns and creams and then other stuff as well and what I do is I take a little bit from the sleeve the little bit from the sleeve looks like it's usually about um, an inch and a half by two inches, something like that. It's a little bit from where you cut the cuff off. And I keep that bit of fabric so I know exactly what it is and where it's from. This one was by Marks and Spencer's autograph, 100% cotton, and it was an extra, extra large. And <clears throat> it's lovely. And so what I do is I have a whole index here of fabrics. This is the Jeff Banks collection here. All his fabrics that I've used and that I've ever collected that are Jeff Banks go into the Jeff Banks collection of my um, tote and my folder here. Um, my blues and greens, these are blues rather. You can see that this particular pretty blue one, which I'll show you in a minute of where it is, is a Jasper Conran, extra large. It's from a shirt and it contains navy blue and white. And again, I've got Charles Turwitz, I've got other autograph shirts by Marks and Spencers. I've got Ben Sherman fabrics, the Next, Taylor and Wright, Denim and Flower from the USA. I know that um, Kathy at Catbird Quilts, she loves the Denim and Flower shirt, and I have to say they really truly are Bobby Dazzlers, especially the bit that you get on the yoke. They're usually quite a, a contrasty one, so I was quite pleased when I found one of those in my, my charity shop here over in England. Um, I've also kept them as little, um, if I've already made up the half square triangle, um, then I've made that. Now that's on a quilt that will be coming at future times. Once I've had this one quilted, um, I will then show you the shirt, the pattern that this is from, because it's one that I've designed here at Sassanac Quilts. Um, and I've got my cousin Jackie. Now she wanted a particular sh um quilt and made from shirts and made from fabrics that she sent all the way over from Australia so I've also collected in a tote her fabrics and added to it a few of mine and it's a lovely selection of blues and burgundies navies and it's going to be such a beautiful quilt when we finish that's a Ted Baker from London that shirt that one is a oh that's another autograph um Catalus beautiful beautiful shirts her favorite one however was this one which is a french connection shirt it's got every single color of the rainbow in here and that is the fabric that is being highlighted through the pattern that she's decided upon for her quilt um, and i ended up having to draw this quilt out so she wanted a particular pink fabric in the middle and then she wanted the other fabrics as like an irish chain going through and believe it or not the fabric for this orange fabric, as I've called it here, um, was just a small shirt. It was tiny. It's French Connection. It's beautiful. But because of the design that I've created for it, it's going to be all throughout her quilt as like a favourite colour. Down the sides here, I've worked out, got the graph paper out. I've worked out how many squares of each I've used, and that's what I've cut from the shirts. At the moment, I'm in the middle of cutting out the blues and the um, burgundies and then the purples and it's going from a very bright vibrant pink in the middle to then blues around the edge and then burgundies and purples around the edge of that so it's going to be a really really beautiful quilt and we're about halfway now with its process so I will come back when I finish Jackie's quilt I will come back and show you it all because it's going to be a stunner so that's that one and that's how that works with my collection and she's actually got her own section here I've sectioned it off then I've got my my purples and the purples were really, really vibrant stripes. Now that's probably going to be destined for um, the binding because stripes do really good binding. 
um, and we've kind of become a thing. I've got some lovely check, all different sizes, all different things. That's a beautiful gingham, um, which will fit in really well with this gingham. Now, this is a 4XL, so I've got a lot of this fabric to play with. Um, 3XL, and this was a super dry shirt, and that's actually highlighted on the quilt behind me, which I will talk about in a separate video. Um, and th this is super dry. All of these fabrics are 100% cotton. I am very, very fussy about um, them being 100% cotton because then they all shrink at the same rate. Now, this one, George St. George by Duffer, this has already been used, so I have none of this fabric left, and that is the binding on a quilt for a friend. So, um, just beautiful, beautiful fabrics. My next section here is greens. I don't have so many greens. It seems that greens... Here in the UK, are they're not seen as a shirt for men, so um, they're very hard to find. I've got this beautiful one that though that I am going to highlight in a different style of quilt, like with stars, and this is going to be the focus fabric in the middle of the star. Um, it's in double XL, and it's very heathery colours. It's beautiful, um, and will remind me of the time when I lived up in Scotland. So that's nice. Um, Lacoste. All out of charity shops, these everybody. Don't forget, these are all from charity shops. I said I'm very fussy about what comes home. Um, that's my greens, then my greys and my blacks. I've got a few more of those. And again, not very many greys and blacks. That's a lovely, lovely binding. Look at that. Um, extra large will give me about 720 inches of binding if you do it a straight seam not a uh, angle seam so that'll do any quilt absolutely any quilt and there'll be some left over to go into another shirt and this one's got little letters all over it really nice and then the last one is um, this red one which you'll see on the shirt on the quilt behind me in a moment in the next video barber so all of the designs and I've not spent more than five pounds per quilt this one was lovely dark brown and it's got like a if we zoom in you might see that there's a pattern against it very slight pattern there and it's kind of raised and it's got a pale blue stripe going through it and that went into a quilt for my mother-in-law which was the um, labyrinth quilt by Debbie Maddie so really really beautiful so there you go this is how I catalogue my fabric collection so when you then put all of your jeff banks in my circumstances i put, put all my jeff banks in one toad um and you can see that there's a colorway they actually do blend together and there's a beautiful colorway through the purples here and then through the blues and into the dark blues and then back through into the grays and into the browns and putting them together all in the same box has been an eye-opener for then how you can then blend your fabrics and work them into a quilt in the different colorways and um, Jeff Banks is that these are just so lovely to touch they're just beautiful these is the collection for Jackie's quilt and with that orange fabric I showed you earlier you can see that it's really going to pop as a colorway for her for her quilt and that quilt's going to be huge it's going to be 96 by 96 so um, I'm absolutely thrilled how this one's going together um, for my pattern and I think Jackie's going to actually really love it so thank you everybody Take care, see you soon, and don't forget to like and subscribe and ding the bell. Thank you.